Welcome back to part 12 of this tutorial series and in this video we're going to start building out some of the logic inside our quiz controller. So if you recall from the last video the question answered function is called every time the continue button on a question is clicked. So that is this button here. And when it's called we want to initially check to see if the current question has been answered and if it has we want to increment the total number of questions that have been answered and then we want to check if all questions in the quiz have been answered and if they haven't we then want to set the active question to the next unanswered question. So we'll start off by creating an if statement and inside here we'll simply check if the current answer has been answered, which means the selected flag is no longer null. So we'll do that by saying data service dot quiz questions and we'll say vm dot active question, which is this here, which we will increment, which we haven't implemented that logic yet, but we will dot selected does not equal null and then if that's the case we want to increment the total number of questions that have been answered so to hold that variable we need to create it so we'll create a variable so this doesn't need to be vm dot because the view doesn't need access to this so we just create it as a, a normal var num questions answered is what we'll call it and of course we'll set it equal to zero to start with because no questions have been answered at the start and then we'll say num questions answered plus plus so that's if the current answer has been answered or if the current question has been answered we'll increment the total number of answered questions and now that we've incremented that we want to check if all questions have been answered so if num questions answered is greater than or equal to the length of the quiz and the length of the quiz is a variable we're going to use again so I'll create a variable up here that will hold it and I'll call quiz length and I'll set that equal to data service dot quiz questions dot length then come down here and say is it greater than quiz length and if it is which means all questions have been answered we want to finalize the quiz and we'll come back to that logic in a sec so now if either the current question hasn't been selected or it has been selected but we're not at the end of the quiz we'll get to this line of code here and this is where we want to increment the active question to the next available unanswered question and we'll do that inside a different function so we'll just call that function from here so vm dot set active question and then we need to create that function so we'll say vm dot set active question equals set active question and then we'll come down and create the function and we'll call it set active question and then we want to increment to the next question but this function is actually going to be slightly more complicated than just saying vm dot active question plus plus because the problem is right now so this is our finished app we can hit continue even though we haven't answered the question 
and that's not a bug that's a feature right so we could continue and now we're on question two but now say we answer this question and we continue and now we're on question three but then we go back to question one and if we hit continue now and we just incremented active question it would increment to two which would take us to a question we've already answered so we don't want to just simply increment active question we want to check if incrementing active question would land us on an answered or an unanswered question and if it's an answered question then we continue incrementing until we find an unanswered one so if we click continue here it will skip past question two and just take us to question three and there we go so we skipped past that question because we've already answered it so if we come back into our function we'll delete this line and to implement this looping feature what i'm going to do is create a variable called breakout and set it equal to false and we're going to use this breakout variable inside a while loop but before we do that we're going to create another variable and we'll call this quiz length again and this will be data service dot quiz questions dot length but this time we're going to make it minus one and the reason we're doing that is because we're now referencing everything against active question an active question is zero index so the length of the quiz might be 10 but the active question is going from zero to nine so because we're referencing everything against the active question we need to take one off the length so that it's equal to the active question or in the same sort of base reference as the active question and then we'll create the while loop and then we'll say while not breakout so while breakout is still equal to false we want to do all this logic and we'll say vm dot active question equals and here we're going to do something a bit fancy we're going to say vm dot active question is less than quiz length and if it is plus plus vm dot active question so increments active question otherwise zero so what this line is doing is checking to see if active question is less than the, the length of the quiz which is this line up here and if it is less than the length of the quiz then we just want to increment active question and if it's not less than the quiz length i.e it's equal to the length of the quiz so it's the it's the last question then we want to reset to zero and go back to the first question okay now the reason we do this is going to become obvious now so now we can say if data service dot quiz question vm dot active question so bear in mind we've now manipulated active question so we've either incremented it or reset it to zero and if the active question dot selected equals null which means the currently active question hasn't yet been answered then we can set breakout equal to true because that means we've now found the next unanswered question okay hope that makes sense so this line here is either going to increment active question or set it to zero so for example if we've so if i go into the quiz and i answer all of these questions except for the first one and then we get to the last question and we click continue we don't want to increment active question because that would take us to an index beyond the length of the quiz but the fact that this set active question function has been called means 
that not all questions have been answered because if all questions have been answered we would have finalized the quiz and we wouldn't have got to this line. So the fact that this function is running means that not all questions have been answered. And if we're trying to increment beyond the last question or the length of the quiz, that means that a previous question must be unanswered. So we'll reset active question to zero and continue looping until we eventually find that unanswered question. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense. So now we'll just hop into the browser and test out this logic. So now we're on the quiz and we can hit continue and it goes up to the second question. Hit continue, goes up to the third question. So notice here we've got an, a bug in our code that we're just displaying out the URL. So we need to add in the next video functionality to handle image-based questions. And then we'll continue. Question four, again, another image-based question. Question five, question six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So this is the final question. And when we hit continue, it loops back to one. And that's the functionality we want. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to take a look at creating image-based questions, and then we will look at error handling, and then finalizing the quiz. For those of you that haven't checked out my website yet, I do a full article write-up for every single video that I put out on YouTube, and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write-up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. And if you just want to continue watching this video series, then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.